Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Welcome. Today we're gonna be doing another sword unboxing video. And this sword is not a katana. It is its own classification, that's for sure. Uh, sit back, relax, get your popcorn, and enjoy me unbox this sword. Now you might be asking yourself, toes one, where is your unboxing table? Well, we're not gonna be needing that today because I already unboxed the sword off camera with Outlaw Samurai to check for a few things. So uh, it's already unboxed and uh, you'll see why in a minute, but we're gonna put the sword over here for a, se for a sec. I unboxed it already because that was the only styrofoam in the box. So I was worried something happened. Um, but this is the uh, sword. This is the uh, sword bag. The sword bag is another just, you know, crap quality one. So here's the, uh, here's the sword. Voila. So first impressions, it's uh, got a quite a glossy uh, scabbard thing. Um, paracord, cheap, cheap kind of paracord and this guard that really is a little too small, but I kind of like it. Um, and it also has this fun little tassel thing on it. It's a full tang, uh, sword from here all the way to here, which is the reason why I wanted it. And now you might be asking yourself, why is there duct tape on it? Because the sword came with this trash little thing picture here of or, or this trash little thing that was right here on it like so and it was atrocious to hold so last night off camera with outlaw samurai i took this off or took this off and re uh re tied it and then just taped it down with some duct tape as so um, so let's get a look on the blade now. The blade is a tinted blue kind of blade with a fake hamon. It, uh, it feels without what I'm about to do to it, it feels, uh, pretty good in the hand and it is beyond, beyond sharp. So why don't we, uh, upgrade this part real quick to make it a little better to hold in the hand and then we're going to do a cutting test so why don't we do that now all righty and you can see i just wrapped it up real quick with some purple paracord just to give the grip a little more uh base to it because it was very very uh i it's a big the thing i like about it is it's a it's a big grip, like it's a two hand sword grip on such a small blade, but there just wasn't enough wrap on the blade itself. Uh, not enough paracord. So I just did a little more paracord and it gives it a way better grip now. Um, so why don't we do a uh, paper test here? And as you can see, this, this shit is sharp. Uh, that is a, that is quite the sharp, quite the sharp blade if I do say so myself. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, overall so far I'm really liking this sword. Um, it's a lot different. I don't even know what you would classify this as because the blade is so small, but yet it has such a massive grip on it. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is this uh, tassel on it. So I'm probably just going to take this off and not keep it on whatsoever because it is, uh, it is kind of annoying. So no more tassel on there. And that's way better. So why don't we take it outside and we'll see what this baby can do.
Alrighty, hopefully you guys enjoyed that cutting session I did. Um, now we're gonna do uh, what I should have done before we went outside and read off like some of the things that it said in the description. So it claims to be T10 steel, which I believe um, it holds a crazy edge uh, and it's very thick, uh, strong metal. Uh, it's only $80, which is, I mean, for a T10 blade, if it is T10, for 80 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, the brand is LQBJ, uh, if you guys are familiar or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just an Amazon brand, uh, just like a Chinese company of some kind. Uh, the blade length is 19.7 inches. Uh, it claims to have a hardwood handle, which it doesn't list what kind of hardwood, so that makes me skeptical. It may just be some cheapo. And then it has a 12.2 inch grip, which I think is pretty crazy for a sword uh, this small. And I also wrapped it up with some more uh, paracord just to get, make it look cooler. But um, last impressions of this sword, I'm really liking this thing, especially for the price. Uh, it seems pretty high quality and it's quite thick too of a blade. Like this is a pretty, this is out of every sword I have now, this is definitely the thickest out of all of them. Um, I'd really like to see uh, some of you guys get this sword and customize it because out of the box, it needs some work. Like it needs a new uh, wrap and maybe a little sharpening, but probably not but it, it definitely needs a new wrap on it and for that jinky metal thing to be taken off so it'd be cool if you guys you know get this sword because uh i'd like to see what you guys would do with it um anyways with that being said i think this review is coming to an end now if you like the review leave a comment if you like the sword leave a comment and uh yeah that's all i got for you guys today toes one out <laughs>